Balaram, with his handsome shape, clothes as lovely as the clouds, takes his plow and frightens the Yamuna River into changing her course. Buddha, who is moved to tears at the sight of the sacrifice of animals in the sacrificial fire, puts a stop to the practice. Kalki, man on the white horse, the incarnation yet to come, he will appear as a shooting star when the world is filled with evil and destroy the evil and save us. Vishnu, who sleeps for millennia on the serpent Shesh. be 
I'll stand here. Bridgie, I'll stand here and the students here. Here? Okay. Like this? this. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Here. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Dun, dun, dun. Just a second. You can come in. <laughs> yeah, there, which is the traditional greeting. And uh, uh, just just uh, f follow me. Start with your right foot. Ta. Eat. Step forward. Feet together. Turn out. And then we just touch the floor. Touch the top of our head. It's like putting our head to the floor. Around. Asking the blessings from the earth. And back. All right. Now, in the dance of Odyssey, in the technique, first of all, we have a straight position. Abhanga, which is shifting the weight to one side or to the other side. One leg is straight, the other is bent. Tribangi, which is a triple bend. If you start with your feet turned out, in a third position, uh, use your right foot. I'm not mirroring you. Right foot, move it out a little ways. Plie on both legs. Shift your weight back. So there's no weight on the front foot. Let yourself uh, sink into the hip a little. This hand is called mushti, a fist. Put that at the waist. This hand with the thumb up is called shikari. It's a spire, or it could be for a man. Put that 
going up your thigh. This is the Tribhungi position. Try it on the other side. Again, start in third. Bring your foot out. Plie, shift back. Make a fist, mushti here. This hand shikari here. And you can see there's a triple bend in the body. This is a pose that you see around the uh, sculptures, around the temples of Orissa. The other pose that's you now one more time and bend. The distance should be this much. Thumbs touching between your ankles. All right. A good second position. It's standard second. And the arms are straight to the side. This position looks like the image of Lord Jagannath, who in Orissa is the supreme lord of the universe. And he's a figure which you'll see on the stage at the performance tomorrow. Now, when you stay in this position, you want to be very low All right. in uh, Asian dance. And so the, uh, uh, a great deal of modern dance's variation from classical ballet is derived from this. So you see that. Uh, another difference is that in Indian dance, we use the space around the dancer. You stand with your feet together. We use, as in uh, Western dance, modern or ballet, where you'll do a gesture that will cover a long line. This will be gestures around the body. They will also travel, but it's more of the personal space that's used. All right. Now, uh, head movements uh, are straight, up, down, circling, circling the other way, sharply turning sideways, sharp diagonal, head back and shaking it. The neck movements that uh, it's really very typical, this side to side, you take your thumbs, this shikari, put it on your shoulders, elbows out. Now, relax your neck so there's no strain. You don't want the long pulled down ballet look. Just relax. And just shift your ear over to your hand. Look in the mirror and see that you're not tipping your head. Just straight. And shift it as though we're going across a tabletop over to the other side and back and forth. Let's do this in a, uh, a four beat cycle and then we'll double it. Na, Tara, double again. Ta, iti, na, ka, tini, ta, iti, na, ka, tini, ta, iti, na, ka, tini. Try to keep your head straight, not turning. Ti, ta, ka, ta. Okay. What I'm saying is what the drum is playing the exact sound that the drum makes. Um, why don't you do it? Ta, ta, iti, na, ka, tini. If I were saying another drum sound, you would hear another thing being played. All right. Another head movement used, particularly in Odyssey, a great deal, is a kind of a half moon, where one just tips. Not tipping the whole head, but with the nose staying in play, the rhythm also. Ready? Start over to the right and ta, iti, na, ka, tini. Double it, ta. You can take your finger away and see if you can keep your nose there. It's a space hole. Double again. Ta. It's important that the great deal of the movement is with the torso going side to side. All right? It's not as sharp as a jazz isolation. Um, it's soft, but you keep your hips steady shoulders directly over your hip bones, and you just shift side to side. Slight contraction on one, slight extension on the other. So, ready, starting to the right, and ta, iti, na, ka, tini, ta. Slowly, ti, one, two, three, double it, ta. 
Tini. Relax your shoulders. Smile. Expression is very important in Indian dance. And in Odissi, one connects with the audience. Double. Eti. Now let's uh, put some things together. Let's go back. Very nice. Lovely. All right. Now don't let your whole body go with it. This part is not moving. It's just from the knee down. All right. So, into bangi, mushti on the hip, shikari on the thigh. The elbow is following the line of the knee. Relax so that there's no tension in your calf of the supporting leg. Just relax it and you can get lower. You just let gravity let you drop. And we're just going to stamp on the first beat of every phrase and then double. Ready? And. There should be a curve in the side. Shoulder over the hip. Double. your thigh. <laughs> Very good. Now, Gatini. It's just the ribs, not this. Keep that steady. Double. Gatini. The shoulders are relaxed. It's just the ribs moving. Retract your foot a little. Bring it in. Pull it in. Yeah. It's a little too wide. Yeah. Okay, good. Shake out your legs. Now, you've got the feet and the body going. Eat na Good. Try to have the torso move too. the eyes changing diagonally across the front. Double. Let me hear your feet. Hit the heel. Hit the heel down when it's out. Good. All right. The music always ends on one of the next. Take your uh, the first finger of your right hand and hold it in the left. So you have a picture frame. It should be quite open, all right? And we're going to the heel. Heel is parallel. Knee bent, both knees are bent. The uh, right leg is turned out, the left is parallel. One, on two, without coming up or down, you stamp the back foot. And on three, this foot will just Step into your bungee and you bend more so you get the curve. So the body is straight to straight and bent. All right? Hmm? Okay? Ready? Check that your legs are equally turned out now. Your knees a little forward. You don't want to get twisted. Hips stay forward, shoulders forward. Bend more. Okay, that's a little too wide. Bring it back a little bit. Ready? It's more like a, a slightly open fourth position from, from first rather than from uh, fifth. Ready? And. Ta. E. T. 
Nakatini. Nakatini. leg. So much of the training in ballet and modern is preparation to leave the earth. All the plies and the tendus so that you can elevate. And in Indian dance there's uh, a little bit of elevation, but it's not uh, as crucial. So, so much of it is staying down and having this connection. All right, let's do a few exercises in the choka position. Start with your feet together. Turn out the heels. Two. First, put your hands on your hips for a moment. Uh, retracting the foot the same way with the right foot. Ta. Remember, don't pick it up straight, but bring it in and back to the same spot. Now, your hips will stay right where they are. You won't shift your weight to be centered on the other foot. You just pick it up and stay there. Pick the other foot up and stay there. Just try it. One, two. Okay, stop one minute. Now, the body... Hips are quiet. Not twisting, double. Okay, that's enough. We won't do the third tempo. <laughs> Merciful. Let's say it's just on your waist here. And then across which we did before at Dhanupada, the bow. It can be done with the supporting leg straight at times or bend. Mahapada, the large position. Just bring the foot up across the other. Mahapada. Bring it around and back and hold on so it touches the back of you. Ekapada, one leg. Then passe, not touching. Bend. In Indian dance, you don't have the, uh, the hyperextended foot that we work on in ballet. If it's extended,